Hey guys and welcome to Oxygen Not Included, my name is Twitchy and I am here for a tutorial for you. Have you ever found yourself wanting to test out an overly complicated system? Perhaps you want to open up some of the research before you have technically done so. Or perhaps you just want to drown all your duplicates in a flood of polluted water. Well, do I have the tutorial for you? Today we are going to run through how to open up the debug menu. First thing you need to do is go to your Steam uh, library. Yes, indeed. Double click, uh, Open up your menu here with the right click on Oxygen Not Included. You can see you've got properties at the bottom. Go to local files and uh, browse local files and you should find yourself in a folder much like this one. Go into Oxygen Not Included under score data right click and open up a, a new text file now I'm not exactly sure of the procedure that you would follow in um, in Mac OS here but I believe it to be very similar all you're trying to do is make a new uh, text document and it's called debug all lowercase underscore enable now in Windows, it will automatically put a .txt at the end of it, so you don't need to do that. I'm not sure whether you need to or not in Mac. Okay, so let's uh, come over to the actual game now. Let's start a new game and see what we can do here. A quick word of warning, if you are like me and did all that in the background whilst your game is open, you will have to do a restart of the game before it will enable you to have the debug menu. So, after you have restarted your game and you find yourself in either a new game or a save, it doesn't matter which, you can press your debug menu here to open up. And the first thing to note is this will open the entire map. Now, what button did I press? This was the backspace button. Some of you might know it as delete, but it's not the one with the word delete written there. It's the one above your enter key. That will open up this menu over here. Now, this is big, scary, and complicated, and we're not going to get to that straight away. Don't worry about that for now. What I do want you to worry about is in this menu here. If we come into options and controls and then go back one level, you can see there is all the commands available to you in the debug. Now there are a lot here and I'm not going to cover them all in this tutorial, but I think we will do a, a few of them. Uh, now a few to take note of, we've got backspace to open the debug and then also somewhere in the controls we have insta build mode. Now instant build mode, that, that name's a little bit deceiving as it does do a few more things than just that. So we've pressed backspace to open up the menu here, I'm also now going to press control F4. Do not press Alt F4, bad things will happen if you do so. Uh, and as I say, you can see that the map is totally open now. So if if you don't know what's in the outer reaches of the uh, asteroid, now is not a good time to go looking because you will spoil it for yourself. But you can see down here we can place down items and... Uh, tiles, buildings and such forth without any duplicate having to go and build stuff. Also note we don't need to have the the research be uh, behind. If we come up here you can see nothing has been researched. That's kind of important. I will get back to that. So you can just go around and build whatever it is you want to build. I think I'm just going to uh, test out a new electrolyzer. Uh, so if I put that there you can see that it does not build uh, dig itself out. I do believe like, we can just do this though. Aha. And we run into one of the first problems. If you find yourself with things not actually happening to work just run time a little bit. That's that's all you need to do. Uh, this this applies to a fair number of things, but quite often you'll find that just because you've got yourself paused, uh, the world will not change. So I've built up this system that I want to test. It's just a pump running by uh, Leroy Jenkins, charging powers of awesomeness, uh, and an electrolyzer with a. Uh, Atmos switch set up here. I've also just noticed that I've missed out something to put on so I can show you that there are no restrictions on the type of material you build with in this particular setup here with the uh, control F4 test. But the one thing I want to do is get rid of that now. I want to run this under test conditions so I'm going to press control F4 to get rid of insta build and the first thing you can notice is that I no longer have access to the items that I did because um, immediately you remember that the research was was not 
actually learnt. So how do we get about go about keeping hold of that? I'm going to press Control F4 again to give us back the instant powers. And you can literally just come in here and click the things that you want. Oh, I want obviously the hydrogen generator. We want to have the electrolyzer. You can hear the noise kicking off saying that we have done it well. I'm also going to go for that. And I think that should be about all the things that are important here. So once again, Control F4 to turn everything off. Backspace to get rid of the D bug overlay and let's just see how it runs here well honestly it's not important how that runs this was all just a very contrived situation to show you about the research now i believe in my intro i also said maybe you want to drown your duplicates in water and of course we can do that so once again let's open the debug menu i don't believe we need to do the uh insta build but i might be eating my own words in a moment i'm going to come down let's have a look here i do of course want to have a whole load of polluted oxygen the whole so what i did there was uh went to this element uh sub property and decided wow well, but you know when a word just leaves you and you're like oh i'm in the middle of doing something important i need that word could you give it back to me please well anyway i just had that so you click on the element property and there is a massive selection of elements every element in the game or one might be tempted to say to select from i of course want polluted water now you could go around and enter figures into these but they're very temperamental and sometimes causes things not to work so i just leave them blank and go paint oh yes indeed and if we just kind of drag over there you can see that a moment later the water is spawned in now this is one of the situations where if you pause time and do so you you can wait and you can wait some more you can wait even longer and nothing is going to happen but if you press that button uh, it overrides everything and suddenly everyone is drowning i'm surprised that it didn't take away the tiles that was new for me but we're just going to carry on and fill all of these in because we are a horrible horrible colony administrator and we want to watch these people suffer and they're not people they're duplicates let's let's be honest here well with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial if i have helped you out please do uh, give us a thumbs up and let me know don't be afraid to write down in the comments of any other tutorials you might like to know maybe the cut and pasting technology over there um maybe some things like how to build a med bay i i hear that's quite difficult anyway uh, this is going to take a little bit of time so let's uh, speed up uh, uh once again do not forget that in your uh in your menu here under options and control back to debug is where you can find a whole load of things to play with i fully recommend playing with them i'm going to try control u at this at this point is that what i wanted ultra test no i wanted a speed oh let's play it i'll uh, control u let's see what it does i i said i'm not not afraid to to play immediately people are dying so let's try and turn that off if we can yeah, oh, just in time to watch everyone go. And with that, I'm going to say bye.